hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ice ta and we're back with another video okay so this video is highly requested emphasis on highly okay listen in this video i'm gonna show you guys how i take my selfies and how i edit my selfies for instagram okay but before we get into this video make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and make sure you leave me some comments because i love when you guys show me love okay listen you gotta stay hydrated okay So I get this question so often in my DMs, or even if you go through my comments, you're gonna see a lot of people asking me, one, what camera do I use to take my pictures? And two, how do I edit my pictures? First thing first, okay, the gag. <laughs> the gag, honey. The gag is that I use my iPhone to take my pictures. I have the 11 Pro right now, but before that I had the iPhone X. And so yeah, so I've always used the iPhone to take my pictures unless otherwise stated that a photographer is, took my picture and is tagged in my picture i took my own picture and i edited my own picture oh so that's like literally the number one question that i get all the time but camera do i take my pictures my iphone and guess what i'm actually filming this video with my iphone so i'm gonna switch it to my camera while you know i'm screen recording my edit the way i edit my pictures i personally like to take my pictures with natural light i don't really like the the ring lights and all that. i have like three lights right now right here right here right here and there's a mirror behind me so you might see the ring light reflect at times when i move certain ways so i'm gonna try to stop that yeah so i love natural light i love the sun i love taking um golden hour selfies which is when the sun is either going up or it's going down okay sunset and sunrise the best time to take your pictures because the sun is not too harsh and it gives you this golden tone oh my god you guys ugh. but because it's the winter time in new york and there's no sun what i am gonna do is i'm actually gonna take some selfies right now with my phone using these lights and then i'm gonna edit the pictures for you guys okay and another question i get is who takes my pictures sometimes i'm out with friends and they will take my pictures or if i'm alone i have a selfie stick that i take with me everywhere it's a tripod selfie stick and it's as long as me okay listen i don't think anyone can take pictures of me better than i can take pictures of me like and that's a fact i have that from amazon i'm gonna link my selfie tripod in this in the description box make sure you check that out and obviously you guys know where to get an iphone so without further ado i'm gonna take my phone and take some pictures i'm gonna screen record me taking my pictures and then screen record me choosing my favorites and then show you guys what apps that i use to edit my instagram photos okay i went ahead and set up my tripod with my phone camera i have my, my remote wait Okay, boom, it's working. And before I take pictures, I always have a comb next to me and my lip in case I wanna like redo it. This is Revlon, Revlon Ultra HD lip polish. So I try to look as good as I can before I start taking pictures because you know, you don't wanna go through editing. You don't wanna do all that. It's just too much work. All right, so now that I feel like I am ready, usually I always get like a good background, make sure I have a nice top or whatever, but this is a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pictures, okay? Once that's done, I'm gonna take my phone out so I can go through my pictures. So what I do after that is I just go through the pictures. I just go through the pictures and pick my favorite. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this. 
I look at like this. I like this too. So when I'm done favoriting my favorite picture, I like to go through, go through them and then like try to get rid of some of them because this is a lot. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through editing all of these. Once I know what pictures I want to edit, I'm gonna open up my Facetoon app. Under photography is where I have all my apps um, for editing pictures. So I'm gonna use Facetune. Once I have Facetune open up, I'm gonna go ahead and click on favorites and just like that, I have all my pictures right here. I think I'm gonna do this one because this one I took with my regular, with the regular camera and then the rest of these I took with portrait. So I'm gonna do this one so you can see the difference between this one, the quality of this one and the quality of portrait mode. So one, before I do anything, the first thing I do is click on retouch and once I'm there, I'm gonna zoom in. Before I do anything, I have to zoom in, okay? I'm zooming in. Look at the quality, you guys. You can see my pores, you can see everything. Oh my God, scary. Okay, so first thing I do is I am gonna smooth out, you know, make sure my makeup is on fleek or whatever. I just smooth everything out, like, running it through my face smoothing it out one thing i don't smooth out is my nose and my forehead that's the same way when i do my makeup you know and then when i'm done with that i'm gonna go to heal you see this right here i don't know when i got it or how i got it but we're just gonna heal that it's healed look at that simple and once that's done i'm gonna heal these pieces of hair i'm just gonna tap it i'm gonna show you guys before after before after so all them little flyaways gotta go okay all right now that's done look you can still see my pores okay like i love that so when i'm done with that i go on detail i love to detail like I have a beauty mark right here. I love to detail that because I want you guys to see that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and detail my eye, <clears throat> my eyebrows, my lashes, and I also detail my hair. I don't know, maybe that's weird, I don't know. But I want all of that to pop. So basically everything, everything that you want to pop detail it okay i go ahead and click on sharpen instead of detail boom boom oh my god look at that popping click on the check mark now when i'm done with that i go ahead and go to paint and what i love to do i love to make my eyeliner pop even more in pictures in case you were wondering because actually a lot of people ask me that like Oh my god, what eyeliner do you use? Listen, I use face too. <laughs> but once I'm on paint, I click on tone and I go ahead and click on the choose the black color that I want. What the it's time to pray, y'all. It's 5.53 in the morning. It's time to pray. Let me edit this picture so I can go pray and go to sleep because it's, it's almost six in the morning. This is crazy. So I click on tone and click the color that I want. If it was red, I would have clicked on red, but because this is black, I'm going to click black. And what I'm going to do is just run it through the eyeliner that I already have, you know, just to make it pop. See that? And then I erase it to make sure it's not like over places that I didn't do. So this is before and this is after. I will do the same thing on the other side, but it's barely showing. Anyways, once I'm done with that, so I hate this. I need to clean my mirror, please don't mind it. But I hate when like my background look like that. So I'll try to go and click on retouch and click on hill and go through that again just like get rid of those 
little spots because I hate messy backgrounds, you guys. And then what I will do is smooth it out. Like not the smooth one, the smoother one. So it can be like blurry. Okay, that's what we're gonna do with the mirror. We're gonna blur it out. Look at that, before, after, before, after. So now that I'm satisfied, I'm gonna go ahead and save the camera roll. And I'm gonna do one more because I wanted to do one that portrait mode. I'm gonna do this one, I guess, whatever. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other picture basically, but on this one, I'm gonna quickly do this. Okay. Oh wow, see, because this is portrait mode, the background, like the mirror looks perfect. So I don't need to do anything with the background, perfect. Oh. Okay, you guys, now that we're done editing the pictures, on Facetune, the next app we're gonna use is Lightroom. Okay, from camera roll, and I pick these three since they are the three that I edited. Okay, I'm gonna click on the first one. First of all, I want to let you guys know that I do have presets already on my Lightroom account that I bought from Etsy for like five bucks but honestly i barely use them not even barely i rarely use them i use them once and then everything else like i just use like i edit my own way but i'm gonna show you guys the presets that i have just so you can have an idea why i do not use them look at this like come on you know this is not bad actually you know i can just play around with it but um i'm gonna do my own thing okay let's try that i'm gonna do these two photos without a preset okay so what i'm gonna do is go to the first thing i do is always click on light and i play around with lighting when i i don't have nothing set in stone when it comes to these things i literally just play around with every new set of photos that i have so with this one let's see with each um setting like exposure contrast highlights shadows whatever i literally move the thing around the circle around to the highest and to the lowest just to see what the picture looks like you know and so that's what i do until i get something that i'm satisfied with just go with what you like so here i broke down exposure because i have like so many lights you know so much brightness or whatever so i bring that down because i like my melanin to pop i want you guys to see that i'm chocolate okay from there i'm gonna go to contrast um i'm gonna bring it down actually Highlight, let's see. I'm gonna bring that down as well. Shadows, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Whites, I'm gonna bring that down. I mostly always bring down whites. Blacks, and I usually bring that up, but maybe with this photo, I'm gonna bring black down. Okay, so, so far, this is before and this is after. And the next, I go to colors. I click on mix. And then from there, like I said, I go through every color on there and play around until I find something that I'm satisfied with. What's the process, but you have to trust the process, okay? So red, click on red. And the way to know what color changes what in the picture is on luminance. Bring that up or down and see what color is changing. And based on that, then you can just play around with the saturation and the hues. So luminance, let's see, for red, it's obviously changing my robe and my lip and this, okay? so i only most of the time i only use that the luminance to see what colors is changing in the pictures i don't really move that so i bring it back to zero so now that i know it's changing this my red lip and my thing i'm really satisfied with the way it looks in the picture i don't really need to change it but if you want to see what it will look like let's bring up the saturation a little bit oh that's really red okay actually i like that better the red is popping more so i'm gonna go to the next color same thing so this is changing my skin tone as you can see right so i'm gonna bring that back to zero actually i'm gonna bring it down a little bit because once you go down it makes your skin a little bit more chocolatey and i'm chocolate so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring that down and if you're a person who tans maybe this is gonna help you out and you're gonna look tan in your pictures but i'm chocolate and i want that to reflect in my pictures okay bring up saturations a little bit next color as you can see that's changing the wall color and my highlight what i'm gonna do is bring this 
back to zero and then saturation i'm going to bring it back all the way down because i want the yellow wall to be white so i'm going to take out the color out of that boom see that okay and then i might bring down luminance okay are we going to go to green um which is the background right there i'm gonna just play around till i get stuff that i like kind of looks invisible now blue is not changing anything so i'm gonna leave that there this color is changing like the mirror frame so i'm gonna i guess gray that out a little bit next color what is it changing i don't see any changes on that one so it's not affecting the picture anyhow this one what is this one is it changing my blush Hold on no it's not doing anything so i'm gonna bring it back to zero okay this is before this is after okay once we're done with that well i usually go down to vibrance and i like to bring up my vibrance a little make the picture pop a little bit more and usually sometimes i bring down the temperature a little bit from there what i do is i go to effects i literally as you can see i go from one thing to the next from light to color now to effect what i usually do here is just bring up the clarity because i like my picture to be really clear and crispy so i bring that up to 20. like i said there's a grain here that sometimes i use and sometimes i don't it's just situational but i'm gonna zoom in to see what it looks like and see what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna add the grain yeah i'm gonna leave the grain and then next i'm gonna go to details so for effects most of the time i only use clarity and grain and i go to detail i always use two things when details sharpening and noise reduction first i'm gonna go to noise reduction I'm gonna, i like to zoom it in because i want to see how it's affecting my overall face and makeup bring this up to 50. yeah you cannot really see anything so i bring it up a little bit more you cannot see anything and then i'm gonna sharpen the image because like i said i love me some crispy pictures okay and then i go to optics enable lens correction I always do that so once i'm done with all of that i'm gonna go to profiles and these are my favorites there's a lot of options but these are my faves that i use most of the time i actually never use this one never use this one either I mostly use Modern 2, Modern 4, or Vintage. For this, I can either use Vintage 9 or Vintage or Modern 4, I don't know. I usually bring it down to 50 and then choose accordingly. I'm going to go Vintage. Why? Because I feel like the hair and everything that looks giving me Vintage vibes. So I'm going to go with Vintage. Before, after. Before, after. I am satisfied with this picture. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to click on the three dots on the top right corner. That's settings, I'm assuming. And then I'm going to click on copy settings. Check. Once I'm done with that, all I need to do on Lightroom is edit one picture. And I'll copy that setting and paste it onto the rest of the picture. So I don't have to do the same thing over and over. So because I like this, the way I edited this picture, I copied it. I'm gonna go into the next picture and click on the three dots on the top right and paste settings. See, before, after, before, after. So I'm just gonna paste the um, setting that I did on the other picture on this one because I don't like this. So paste, this is after, okay. All right, now I'm happy, all right. So what I'm going to do now is select all of them and save them, export them to camera roll. So now that I'm done, I'm going to show you guys how I post my pictures on Instagram, okay? Because even though we're done editing the picture, I still edit on Instagram. You know why? Because Instagram usually like render your quality of your picture lower than it actually is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys i open instagram once on. once instagram is open i'm gonna click on that 
and then what I usually do I frame the picture in like so like this I love that and then I go to next the first thing that I do whenever I um, go on Instagram to edit you see that magic kind of wand on top of the picture I'm gonna click it just to see what it's gonna do sometime it doesn't do anything sometimes it does usually I mostly use it when I take pictures with natural light when it's like golden hour it makes my skin even more golden which I love that's the key I'm telling you guys use that when you take golden hour picture you're gonna see your picture it's gonna be like whoa you know but because this is like I used um, those studio lights or whatever it's probably not gonna do that effect but I'm gonna try and see oh you see that? That's what I mean. But I'm still going to bring it down to 10. But usually with like my golden hour pictures, I bring it up to 50, okay? But I'm bringing this up to 10. And then I always go to edit and go to sharpen. I'm going to sharpen this because like I said, Instagram makes your quality lower. So what you're going to do, you're going to double the sharpness of it so that once you post it, it's going to go back to normal, if that makes sense. So I'm going to bring it, bring this up to 40. I am satisfied with everything. Then write a caption. And once I'm done with that, that's literally it. This is the final look. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed. And if you do, please make sure you like it and comment and please share it. Show me some love and I'll show it back. And the next video that I'm gonna have is gonna be my skincare, my highly requested skincare routine video. So you don't wanna miss that. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss it if you want that glowy skin. And happy new year.